Hi, and welcome to the Department of Epidemiology at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Our mission is to improve the public's health by training epidemiologists and by advancing knowledge concerning the causes and prevention of disease and the promotion of health. Join us for the next few minutes as we give you a brief glimpse into what the department and school have to offer. First, a word from our chair. Greetings. I'm David Celentano. I am the chair of the Department of Epidemiology here at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Uh, Epi began at Johns Hopkins. We just celebrated our 100th birthday last year, so we're off to our second century. Uh, master's students here, they come for two years. We have 100% uh, job placement. It is a great place to learn about how Epi's done. I do infectious disease epidemiology, predominantly HIV and sexually transmitted infections, but we do everything. So what programs does Hopkins Epi offer? Hi, um, my name is Fran Berman and I'm the Academic Program Manager for the Department of Epidemiology at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. We are very excited about our master's programs. We have two, the Master of Science and the Master of Health Science. What's the difference? The difference is in your background and whether or not you've had extensive research, um, maybe worked on a publication with an advisor, or if you are just coming in from undergraduate um, or mid-career and want to get an idea of what public health is and what you can do uh, with the methodology that we teach in epidemiology. Let's meet some faculty. Hi, my name is Corey Joshu. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Epidemiology in the Cancer Track. I'm also a co-director of, of our master's program. And what I think makes our master's program special is that we offer exceptional training, but we also offer a personalized experience. So when students choose to join our department in our master's program, we spend the first three terms working with them to help them reach out and meet faculty in our department and identify the topics that speak most to them and identify the faculty members that they most want to work with as they pursue their thesis research. Hey everyone, my name is Ann Rosich. I'm faculty here in the Department of Epidemiology and I'm actually one of the doctoral program co-directors. Um, so I just wanted to welcome you to our department. We're so glad that you are interested in our programs um, and hopefully joining our already diverse body of students and faculty I feel like I was a master student just the other day. Um, but really, I think one thing that's interesting about our program is how many of our master's students are ultimately interested in transitioning to our doctoral program. Um, and even this year, we have quite a good number of prior master's students who have been able to join us as they continue their career in EPI and attain a PhD. I'm Lori Dean. I'm an assistant professor of epidemiology and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about a group that I help co-lead called EPI IDEAS. IDEAS stands for Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, and Science, which is exactly what our group does. We want to celebrate the climate of diversity in our department as well as in our school, and we do that through a number of ways. One of the things that really makes the EPI IDEAS group unique is that it includes faculty, students, and staff. So we're all coming together, thinking about ways to celebrate and improve the climate in the department and make it welcoming to many different types of people. Hi, my name is Laura Camerata and I'm the Director for Graduate Education in the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health Department of Epidemiology. Uh, in my role here, uh, I oversee the department's academic activities and my bread and butter is um, meaningfully connecting students with resources, helping them get through their programs, and also including their perspectives to keep us innovative and fresh. Um, I live right nearby, I'm a Baltimore resident, I walk to and from school, um, just about a mile south of here, um, and I wanted to show you a little bit of the ways we include the student perspective here in our department. So I'm gonna ask you to walk with me um, so we're leaving my office and going out into the hall, which is our academic suite. We've got Jordan on my left. Jordan helps us with TAs. We encourage all of our students to TA. 
Um, over here on the right, we have a bunch of wrapped presents. It's the holiday season. And actually, this was a uh, Adopt-A-Family service drive organized by our students, two master students, our ESO service reps. To tell you a little bit about ESO, that's our EPI student organization. Um, students are voted and chair those positions. And those positions are designed to um, sort of meaningfully, meaningfully include student perspective in department academics. Uh, we uh, hope that uh, folks will express more interest and come and talk with us. That's what our academic office is here for. The Student Perspective. Hi, my name is Sally Coburn. I'm a third year PhD student in the general track. Um, and hi, my name is Joanne Malone, and I am also a third year PhD student, and I'm in the infectious disease uh, epi track. And we are the co-president of the Epidemiologic Student Organization, also known as the ESO. We're all epi students, masters, doctoral students, and we meet every month. We have free food at all the meetings, um, and we just keep you up to date on everything that's relevant for you in the epi department. And um, we also have a lot of programming throughout the year. So yeah, so we plan a lot of social events throughout the year. We also plan um, charity events like Adopt a Family, which we just did a couple weeks ago. Um, and we really try to be a big part of fostering the Johns Hopkins epi identity. Um, and foster faculty-student communication, um, and again, really emphasizing the social aspect of the program. Hello, my name is Anam Tariq. I'm a second year master's students in epidemiology at the Bloomberg School of Public Health here at Hopkins. Um, you know, just coming to Hopkins itself has been a wonderful experience. Uh, not only do you get to interact with amazing faculty, but you just get to work on some amazing projects um, and just enjoy life here in the Baltimore region. Um, you'll have time not just for your studies and your research, but also to just enjoy the nice outdoors, even when it's cold. Amenities at the school. It's no surprise that students spend a lot of their time on campus. Classes and studying consume a better part of their day, and the school provides ample space for students to gather individually or as a group to prepare for class or an upcoming exam. There are two dining options at the school. The Daily Grind on the second floor serves coffee, soups, salads, sandwiches, and snacks, and the Garden Plate, located on the ninth floor, offers salads, wraps, and other healthy options. If you're seeking more variety, Take a short walk to the nearby Northeast Market. Right here you see me at the market. Uh, if you're here as a master's student, you will enjoy coming over to this market that's just about two blocks away from the school and you can enjoy a delicious lunch and meal and just hang out with your friends and colleagues. In addition to the garden plate, the ninth floor is home to the school's fitness center with state-of-the-art equipment as well as the outside terrace and ample seating offering sweeping views of the city. The Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health is committed to embracing diversity and reducing its carbon footprint. Many sections of the building are LEED certified. Some of our restrooms use collected rainwater, while others were recently converted to gender neutral. Getting around Baltimore. Many of our students live within a couple miles of campus. The university provides free shuttle service between its various campuses, as well as other popular areas around Baltimore. You can download the app for updated schedules and real-time up-to-the-minute bus tracking. Hopkins also offers JH SafeRide, a free program in cooperation with Lyft, to provide transportation to pre-doctoral students who live close to the East Baltimore campus. Maryland Transit Administration buses, trains, and subways are also a great resource for getting to and from Hopkins and around the Metro Baltimore area. We hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of the Department of Epidemiology and the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Our students are preparing to become the next generation of public health leaders. We hope you'll join us. For more information, please click the link.